Hello, Leos. This is the general reading for the sign of Leo. So this reading could resonate with anyone who has Leo strongly in their chart. Uh, my beautiful friends, I welcome you here to this table. Um, I'm glad that you're here and I'm glad that I'm here as well. I've um, had a few weeks break to um, dig deeper into my work and into the tool of tarot. And um, I am looking forward to um, being here with you again today. All right, I'm going to go ahead and shuffle now. For those of you that do not like the shuffling, please just forward ahead into the video um, to where the reading begins. All right, beautiful friends, let's go ahead and see what's here for the sign of Leo. This is the current energy for the sign of Leo. What is in the current energy for the sign of Leo, please? What is in the current energy for the sign of Leo? in the next incoming wave of energy, the next immediate future forecast for this group of Leo people. What is in the next immediate future forecast for this group of Leo people, please? Next immediate future. Next immediate future. This group of Leo people. This group of Leo people. This group of Leo people. What is in the next immediate future? Guidance, please. Guidance, please, for Leo. Just a couple of energies of guidance. A couple of energies of guidance, please. All right, so before I begin, just a reminder that this will not resonate with every Leo person. Um, it is um, impossible, I think, for us to really do that. Um, Please understand that the time frames that we're looking at are going to be different for each and every one of you. Um, the speed at which you move through situations and the depth of your situation um, are all individual to you. Remember that we all have a very complicated natal chart. Um, we all have different um, emotional signs and rising signs, moon signs and rising signs and sun signs and Venus signs and all of that. So we're all very different as people and we're all going to move in different ways. So please rem remember that this is a general reading. Please do not make any major decisions based off this reading or any reading for that matter. Um, but I, I request that um, if you wish and if it's helpful for you to use this as one of your tools um, to find out really how your own guidance is is pulling you forward. Um, as a tool to help you um, to do that. So let's go ahead and begin. We have the Page of Pentacles here next to the Justice Energy, next to the Page of Wands, next to the Five of Pentacles. Um, now we're looking at this en energy here, and we have two pages here. Um, you could be a person with um, young people around you. You could have an energy of youth around you. Um, you could have... For, for many of you, there's an energy of youth that's around you. There could be a little bit of a, um, a feeling of, of something blossoming in your life. We have two pages next to the, and the justice energy is in between. So, um, that's just kind of the general overall energy that I have. There could be a little bit of reservation here. Um, 
with this new beginning or this new blossoming that's happening here for you. Um, but let me go deeper now into these energies and see what I can get. Going into the Page of Pentacles, uh, the Page of Pentacles is an energy of something beginning in your life, something happening here in your life. It's an indication of, of a better future. It's an indication. It could be a message that's coming towards you. It could be a sign of something that you've received. Um, it, it could, it's, it's a pinnacle energy. So it's something that you can touch, feel, hold, or see something that you can experience with your senses. Um, it's not an idea. Um, it's not a new action that you're taking. Well, you do have the page of wands here, which we'll get to, but I'm in the, in the page of pinnacles now. It's a, it's a, it's something that you have seen come into your reality. That's an indication of some kind of improvement. So. It doesn't have to be huge, but it does come with the energy of um, budding optimism, right? Um, a new sort of youthful enthusiasm for something because something has come in to your experience and has brought you um, a new revival, um, feeling of revival based on something that you've seen or been able to touch or you have received. Um, it could even be, um, some sort of an offer of a position, or you have heard, you have received, um, notice that you will be getting a job promotion, or maybe there is a commission that is coming towards you in some way, but, th but whatever it is, it's a small sign. It's not something huge, but it does bring you into a, into an improved, um, mental capacity or into an improved, um, it's like spring is here. The sun is finally out kind of a feeling. We have the justice energy here. And for this group of Leos, this is talking about something that is now becoming fair, something that is becoming more equitable for you. There could have been a decision that's recently been made in your behalf, um, or there could be um, a decision that you have made in your own life that's going to bring in some sort of new um, equality for yourself. And this can be a decision that you have made for how you will carry yourself forward, um, how you will attempt to do something or what your strategy is for something or how you will handle a certain situation. You could have made a decision within yourself on how you're going to do that. And you're beginning to see that that implementation of that pay off for you. Um, this could also be a decision that's made in a court system or it's decision that's made by a father figure or a decision maker within a group of people, um, a decision maker within a work work setting or somebody making a decision within a community. So there has been a decision made. There has been something here that has been handed down, whether you have made it or someone else has made it. And that is bringing something in for you that is creating a, a much more equi uh, um, a much more fair situation for yourself. You're feeling like you can handle this now. You're feeling like this is something that you can work with. You're feeling like finally the tables are turned and that there is a situation here that will be helpful for you as you move into the future. So again, there's feeling here. This is this is a lot here about even with the page of wands, it's about something here kind of beginning to turn around for you now, Leo. Something is beginning to turn around for you now. And it's like springtime, the feeling of springtime, the sun coming out, people are out, people are, people are excited about life, people are feeling refreshed. It's that kind of a feeling. You have the page of wands here as well. Um, the page of wands is an energy of new revitalization, um, new passion for life, new excitement for life, enthusiasm, new optimism. So this is a feeling of hope. And um, it's a feeling that there is a better day coming. And I think there's a, there's a knowing here with two pages and the justice energy. I think you have, um, you have a, a, a knowing or, or something here, there could have been messages coming forward for you. There could be a new introduction here. There could be new passion in your life. Whatever it is, it's something that's bring, bringing you to a very much more uplifted place, an uplifted place within the heart center, within the action center of who you are. You might be able to be getting up out of your chair quicker. You might be able to be able to see things uh, much more quicker and get up and take action towards those things. You could be more energized in your life. Um, there is a feeling of health now, I think, for you, a feeling of equality in your experience, and, and that feels really good. Um, we can't forget that there's a five of pentacles here. So this talks about change. The five energies are about change. And for me, I mean, honestly, for me, the five energies are um, uncomfortable energies. They are necessary when we go through a change. We have to go through the five energy. Um, the five energies are 
um, energies that propel us into change. They cause change. They initiate change. There's part, they are part of the transformation, but they do come with anxiety. Sometimes they come with fear. They come with fear of consequences about making movements in our life. The five of pentacles is about not really knowing what's ahead, feeling left out of something, um, feeling like there might never be a, a change in finances. It is a feeling of, it, it is a feeling that sometimes we can have when things start going better for us, but in the back of our minds, we can think, well, it's, it's, it's getting good now. What's going to happen next? What's going to happen next? Every time something gets good for me, something happens that takes it away, right? It's that feeling of trying to overcome that, that doom that we can feel when something is beginning to happen that's good for us. So it's going to probably take for, for this group of Leo people, um, inner strength is going, it's going to take a mindset that helps, um, overcome those feelings. Um, with the five of pentacles. So as you're reviving your energy, um, birthing a new type of, of, of version of you, um, you will be working to overcome the anxiety that comes with that, the fear of the conse consequences of making changes, maybe something that you're worried about with your finances as well. Um, but, uh, but again, this is, this is a very, um, optimistic kind of energy that's trying to overcome this five of pentacles energy. Um, worry about finances or maybe even not even worry. I mean, all of us have been in the five of pentacles. Sometimes when we're in the five of pentacles, we're really in the five of pentacles. The bank account says we're in the five of pentacles. It's sometimes it's not always a fear. Sometimes it's a reality to be in the five of pentacles. And then, um, and then we just have to kind of continue to take action, continue to move forward in our lives, continue to use our, um, our minds and our bodies and our hearts um, to, to move forward in a way that can help us reconnect with resources and the finances that can pull us out of situations um, that leave us feeling pretty weak in our lives um, with the five of pentacles. So I like this energy. I like, um, an improvement here. This is about hope. This is about the spring type type energy. There's something here that's happening. That's bringing in something that's much more fair for you. And um, there could be new passion here. There could be new improved finances here. Whatever it is, I think this energy will begin to soon overcome this five of pentacles that's here, that, that is lingering. You could have a little bit of fear about this situation that's coming in. And I think, I think that's typical to feel that way as well. Let's go ahead, Leo, and see what's here for you next. In the next phase of this, the next incoming period of time, the next future for you. Again, it's really hard to tell. Um, when this will, when it will change over for you, when it will happen, it just depends on, um, the situation, how, how deep it is, um, how slow it's moving, how fast you're moving, how fast the people around you are moving and all of that. I mean, we could be talking about the next seven days, the next month. How many cards do I have here? Fool energy. That's pretty exciting. Ah, the devil energy. That's that five there over the top of temperance. But look what we have here, the 10 of pentacles. I'm going to put this right here. So what I have here in this, in this spread is the page of cups. So there's another page. That's three pages that we have the five of cups. The Seven of Swords, Temperance Energy, Strength Energy, the Fool Energy, the Devil Energy, and the Pentacles Energy. So this is an energy of change. This is an energy of switcheroo, right? Um, moving from one situation to another because we have a five and a seven here um, over the top of the Fool. So um, Usually in my readings, uh, the, these are just three here, but we have two cards come out at the end. I'm going to take the cards that come out. So I'm going to t say that this fool energy and the devil energy is an overall energy of this spread. Um, I think as you start forward in this in, in a new way with this spring type time energy that I feel here, um, you do have um, some sort of heaviness. Um, that you're that you're walking um, through or out of as you step into this new beginning for yourself or step out in this new way. 
Um, you could be heading out through, you, you could be having to run through um, some thick fog to get to the other side. There's something here, you know, with this devil energy between this fool and this Ten of Pentacles energy. Look, the devil's over the top of the Seven of Swords and over the top of the Temperance energy. So there's something here that you're overcoming. See, when we have something new coming in for us, um, th there's usually an ending. Sometimes the new comes in before the ending happens. So for some of you, you're going to have this new beginning or this new start or this new vitality that rise up from within you because of something that's happening that you're really seeing that's bringing you this new optimism, this new passion, um, this new inspiration now with the Page of Cups that's helping you to overcome something that you have been working towards with that Five of Pentacles. So we're seeing that same dynamic here moving forward, but I do see new movement here. So this is an exciting period of time. It's also a period of time that could cause some worry, that could cause some stress. We have the, the Page of Pentacles here. And the Page of Pentacles is about inspiration. It's about um, new feelings of love. It's about um, the budding, a budding romance, or it's, a, it's about feeling again um, wellness and vitality within your heart center and because it's a chalice, it's a cup, it's about emotions. So feeling new inspired emotions about life. And um, we do see this Page of Cups here is using his, his energy, um, the energy that's in his body um, to um, help guide him forward. Um, so this is talking about intuition. This is talking about the inner voice, um, digging deep into the heart center um, and, and working to um, figure out what does a heart center, what is a heart center trying to tell you? What are your emotions trying to tell you? Um, and, and being guided to do the right thing um, with the wisdom that you have inside of you and even being guided to, to, to do the right thing um, by flowing the energy through you, connecting up into the divine, connecting up into your um, into your spiritual team, into your religious system, into your spiritual system so that you can receive the guidance um, that is necessary for you to move forward that can help you move forward. So this is about intuition. This is about um, really listening to, to the, to the feelings that you have, listening to the voice that comes through you, um, being guided um, by different um, signs and different ways that you can be guided in your life. Um, and, and this is how you're feeling. Now, as you're moving forward, I think this is taking some strength here for you to do that. We do have the strength card. I think that um, you could be even be pushed. Um, you could be challenged from within, within the heart center, um, because you have a situation here with the five of cups and the seven of swords that you're working to move away from, um, with the seven of the five of cups. It's an energy of emotional entanglement with the past. There could be some sadness here. There could be some regret. There could be some remorse. Um, there could be feelings of even resentment, anger. It's, it's what affects the emotional center. And the five is an energy of change. So something had to have come over you at some point that um, required you to see something from the heart in a different way, to look deep within the heart, to see what was um, bothering you within that. Um, something came in and affected the heart center in a way that the heart center had to respond. And that responding energy is what initiated some kind of change within you. We have the Seven of Swords here, which is a revision energy. Um, the Seven of Swords is about learning how to deal with and understand theft, betrayal, um, it's learning how to um, adjust and to respond to p the people and the situations and the events around you that aren't healthy for you, that take from you. This could be people, this could be um, workplace issues, whatever it is. The Seven of Swords talks about, um, see, this is an emotional, the five is an emotional 
something that happened to you in an emotional way, which caused you to have some sort of um, rethinking or reanalysis within the mind because the seven, the swords are within the mind. So whatever happened to the heart center is causing you to change something in the way that you're planning your future, in the way that you're moving ahead, in the way that you're seeing the world around you. It's, it's helping you to develop belief systems that are, um, a change from the way that you've thought in the past and you're moving forward now in a new direction in a way that's going to be um, much more helpful for you. Um, it's a seven. You're going to move into the eight potentially. Um, you are moving through a system of developing a new thought pattern or developing your own ideas about something. Um, you could have had um, sometimes with the word betrayal, you could have been with a group of people or been with a person who has been influencing you, has been influencing you to think a certain way or to behave in a certain way. And what has happened here with the heart center has caused you to realize that perhaps you were, it, perhaps it's important for you to really look within your own self and see what, what you believe and what you think and what kind of, um, methods and strategies would be the best and the most helpful for you and then really developing those and moving forward and finding your way out into a new victory um, out into a new um, out into making new decisions for yourself or starting some new um, creating an epiphany for yourself so this is about having something happen to you within the heart center and then developing your belief systems and your strategies to help move you forward in a new way so these energies here are more difficult but they are energies that are after energies so I think what's happening here is you're in a recovery phase and you're continuing to recover. You're continuing to analyze what has happened with you. This is almost like a hermit energy here where you are digging deep into a situation and saying, okay, I realize something has happened to me. I realize I need to disconnect from myself from that. How do I disconnect myself from that? Well, I have to develop my own ideas. I have to create my own belief system. I have to understand what um, strategies and methods are the most helpful for me as I move forward. So it is a very individual energy, but it has happened because of the people and the situations that are around you. So it's the environment around you that has caused some type of deep um, reflection. Um, and it could have been emotional for you and it could have caused you some real confusion um, within your belief system or within how you felt uh, feel about yourself or how you feel about the person who's around you or the people who are around you. Nevertheless, we have the fool energy over the top of these two energies. So while while this sounds like kind of a heavy reading, I think the heaviness has been in it before, right? The heaviness, the real action here has come before. Um, we have a fool energy, which talks about doing something new, setting forward in a new way, looking at life in a different way, um, um, starting a new chapter in your life, starting a new way of thinking about yourself in your life. It's something that you probably, you perhaps and probably, and with the fool energy, it talks about doing something completely new and not really even knowing how to exactly do it and not really even knowing what the future will bring, but it's, it's doing something new. Um, for yourself. It could be anything. It could be saying, I'm not going to think that way anymore. I'm not going to think that way about myself anymore. I'm not going to have this belief system anymore that so-and-so um, is his or her voice is more important than the way I think, right? So it could be even something like that. It could be a new job. It could be a new relationship that you're entering into or that you, a relationship that you're stepping away from. Sometimes we can be in relationships that, um, that aren't helpful for us, but we have this um, underlying feeling that we might not be able to make it on our own, or we might not be able to ever have another love affair, or we might ever we might not ever be able to have this kind of stability again. And so we can stay in situations like that. That's even part of um, sometimes when we're in a job that is so tiresome for us and depleting for us, we'll stay there because. Um, we can be scared um, of, of stepping forward because of, of the consequences of that. Whatever this is, this is a fool energy. So there's something here that you're doing differently now or you're setting forward to do differently with a fool energy. Um, it could be, it, it, you know, it, I mean, it's, it's using energy from you, but the fool is an exciting energy. I think that um, 
as you're coming out of this pain and hardship, I think that you're feeling inspired by it because we have inspiration here. We have new love. We have new, um, it could even be a new romance here. Um, there's something here that's filling your heart center and inspiring your heart center and helping you. And it's giving you the strength. It's giving you the capacity um, to, to tame that fear within yourself so that you can step forward in a new way. Because now you know how, how you'd like to do it here with the Seven of Swords. Now you know how you'd like to do it. Um, we do have the devil energy here over the top of the seven of swords and over the top of the temperance energy. So that tells me um, that it's it's it, as you move into this next phase, you might have um, you might be working through some of that fear energy as you change. You might be um, healing yourself um, from some sort of a situation. You might need time to really rest to recuperate. You might be realizing how you have been um, in the devil energy, and the devil energy is a, is a very um, weird energy. Uh, it's an energy where you feel weaker than you actually are, where you feel like you don't have the energy to step out in a new way, perhaps. You could be having an addiction that you're getting over, or you could be understanding the behaviors that you've been in that have been contributing to the situation in some in some way. But, but I still feel that this fool energy is going to help you walk through this devil energy to get to this Ten of Pentacles. Um, I like that the fact that the temperance energy is here. I think that you're going to have within you um, the compassion and patience, the understanding that this could take some time for you to do this, understanding that um, you have been through something quite difficult and that there there will be um, some energies that you're probably going to step through that will um, keep you on your toes with the devil energy. Um, whatever happened here, it could have set you back. It could have brought you to a place um, where you could have been um, over shopping or even overeating or maybe drinking too much. Um, whatever that is, I see this new beginning here, um, stepping through this devil energy and, and moving towards new safety, uh, a new legacy for yourself. Now, I feel like this Ten of Pentacles is, is probably not going to be there immediately for you, but, but you're heading in that direction. Excuse me, you're heading in that direction here with the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is a is a um, st energy of, of stability. It's an energy of financial resourcefulness. It's an energy of taking care of your finances and taking care of your home, taking care of things that really matter to you. Um, so whatever this was, you could have let things go with the Devil Energy. You could have let yourself go. You could have... Um, been in behaviors that were hurtful for you. Lots of times when we're in this type of energy, that's exactly what we do. Um, we're all human. We're all imperfect beings. That is how we learn. That is how we grow. That is how we ascend in our understanding is being in this type of lack of moderation um, and healthy energy. And lot of, lots of times it comes from this sort of a situation. So please be compassionate. If you have this kind of energy around you, please be compassionate with yourself and love yourself and, and really look at why you're that way and understand that with this new beginning and this new inspiration, this new feeling of inner strength here, that you can step through these unhealthy this unhealthy um, mindset or behavior or whatever this is it could even be fear. It could even be denial sometimes with the, with the devil energy. It can be um, defensiveness, right? It can be saying, I didn't do that. I, you know, this energy is, is an energy that sometimes we say, oh, it's ego or it's this or it's that, but it's going to be different for each and every one of us. Um, the devil energy, um, it's, it's temptation, um, lack of moderation, um, not, uh, um, not having the strength to take care of ourselves correctly, or it, it's, it's just in so many ways, you will know if you have this energy, you will know what it is. And if you really think about it, you will know like how you can walk through it. Every one of us have walked through it. Um, some of us stay in it longer than others. I have stayed in the devil energy before, um, for some time in fear, um, in, you know, it can even be like a deep depression, um, it, it's, 
It's, it's anything that keeps you from moving forward into abundant energy. So it's, I don't think it's going to be here for long. I do feel like there is a real compassion here within your energy and the 10 of pentacles is right on the other side. I don't feel like you're going to be here for a long time. Um, and I do feel like this definitely stems from whatever the situation is. So be compassionate towards yourself. Um, and, and I say that in, in, in the most heartfelt way. Be compassionate to yourself and wrap your arms around yourself because this is a time to really understand that healing and and um, love and um, understanding for yourself is going to really help you move through this energy. But I like that the Ten of Pentacles is here. I really do. I like that the Fool energy is here. I like that the new inspiration, new youthfulness, new passion for life is here. Um, I think these energies have already happened and now you're in a recovery period. So um, that's pretty exciting um, to see this kind of a reading. And even though we have these harsher energies, I think you're on your way out as the fool wouldn't be here, right? You're on the way out um, because the fool's here and the Ten of Pentacles is here. So let's go ahead and see. Um, let's go ahead and see what the guidance is and then we will move to the extended reading. The world, yep. And the King of Cups. So we have the world energy, which is about endings and new beginnings. So I feel like there is a, a, an ending that is coming. Uh, I think that the new beginning, maybe, perhaps, and, and likely has already started. Um, you've already started to recover. You've already started to build in something new for yourself. And now I think that, there, that there's an ending here um, that's coming in for, for this group of people. So with the world energy, it's talking about new expansive horizons, new beautiful beginnings. Um, but, but the world energy is not all roses, right? It's, it's about endings and well, as well. And endings can be hard. So. Um, I, I think for some of you, um, working through these endings and, and working through the beginning, starting the beginning and working through the ending is maybe going to happen simultaneously um, where you're going to be doing both. And, and if it happens that way, it happens that way. I mean, that's what the universe has brought forward. And that is what uh, maybe you are meant to learn how to do in some way or another. But it's beautiful that it's here. And it's beautiful that a new expansive beginning is here um, for you with the world energy. We have the King of Cups here. So this could be a person in your life. This could be a Cancer um, Scorpio or Pisces person. Um, this is a person who, if this is a person, it's not for all of you. It's not a person. Maybe only for a few of you is it, is it a person? Um, because this energy can take the place um, that this energy can filter over the top of you as well. Um, for the King of Cups, if this is a person, this is a watery energy. So this could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scor Scorpion. Scor Scorpio. Um, and, and I said Scorpies for another reading, which is cracks me up, still cracks me up that that came out that way. Um, so with the King of Cups, this is somebody who is a very emotional energy. Um, this is someone who has been through some hard times, who feels emotional about things, who thinks from the heart center. Um, this is someone who is um, very in tune with other people's emotions. Um, this is someone who's generous. Um, this is someone who may not be able to speak the words, but is, is an action taker to help bring love and vitality into an environment, into a, the space around him or her, into the home, into the workplace, into the community in some way. So there could be a person here that you're ending something with or a person here that you're beginning some something with that has that kind of emotional um, character. Um, if, if it's not a person, then this is a, um, a rebuilding of vitality and love and health in the space, in the environment around you. So whatever this is, if this is um, an environment or a situation that's around you, there is a new beginning here that's going to be more nourishing, more loving, um, more bringing you more strength and vitality and emotional health than the situation that you were in. So the King of Cups is an energy of taking action in your external world, in the world around you to bring in a more emotional, um, a, um, a higher quality of life, a much more beautiful experience for yourself, um, a situation that will help um, fulfill you rather than deplete you kind of energy. So even though this period of time might be difficult for you, Leo, and the next period of time you are starting something new and kind of ending something, I think that these this guidance that's coming forward is um, to continue to 
continue to help improve your environment that's around you that will help you to um, find internal well-being, um, that this is indeed um, a new beginning for yourself. There could be travel here. There could be new excitement. When I say broadening of horizons, I'm talking about um, thinking with your imagination again and thinking about doing different things and, and feeling like you're not trapped anymore, that you can set forward in a way that you can start start a new path or start a new project or think again in a different way, have a clear head again and be able to think in, in a, a more... Um, a powerful way or, or having a heart that's healing and being, being able to love again, being able to be vulnerable the, again within the, your community or in your workplace. So if this is a, this is a very inspiring reading and I hope that it's giving you, um, encouragement and motivation. I hope that it's helping you understand, um, um, the guidance that's coming from within and the guidance that's coming from above for you. And I, and I, and Leo, I wish you all the very best. Truly. So um, I'm going to move to the extended. In the extended, we're going to look at the people who are around you and their perspective. And we're also going to take this situation, this scenario, and move it out three ways of energy, three phases into the future. Um, and that you can consider that to be months or whatever you consider it to be. I'm going to say phases of energy or waves of energy into the future. Um, sometimes when you go through life, we'll say, okay, now I'm entering into a new phase of this. This is a new beginning or this is feels different. This is, a, you know, it, 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 it comes to us in all different ways. So I'm going to go out three um, periods of time um, for the Leo people. So that's what that's what's going to be in the extended. All right. Thank you very much, Leos. It's always a pleasure to read for you and I wish you all the very best. Thank you, my friends.